So you've just downed a Big Mac, or a quarter pounder with cheese, and you may be wondering, what of this packaging that I have left behind is recyclable, and what do I need to throw away? Let's walk through it. Short shorts. My french fry container, as long as it's not soiled with oil in there, can be recycled. The same goes for my uh, quarter pounder with cheese packaging, as long as it's not soiled as well. And this napkin here is soiled, so that I'm gonna put into my compost, as well as any other napkins that I've used. This small french fry container feels like it has a little bit of wax coating to it to keep the grease from soaking through the paper since it's so thin. This I'm gonna put into my compost. The same thing with this hamburger wrap. Also the same sort of wax paper again to keep the, the moisture from coming through it before you eat it. It needs to be composted. And that also includes this french fry and any other food waste that you have left over, compost that. The bag itself is recyclable. In fact, McDonald's has this new marking system on the side of the bag that's designed for consumers. You can watch for this. It gives you more specific instructions on how to recycle and where as well. Got a couple small items here in the bottom of my bag. Straw wrapper is recyclable. It's not a lot of paper here, but I think it's worth it to recycle small things like this because they add up fast. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold up my bag, which can be recycled as long as it's clean and dry. And then I'm gonna slide my straw wrapper in that fold right there and fold this in half. Now that's gonna give that little guy inside a lot better chance of making it through the system and being recycled back into fiber and then into new paper. Now, I got two cups here, one from orange juice and one from my water. Because this cup is paper with a plastic liner, it has to be thrown away. It can't be recycled because those materials are fused together. It would just be cost prohibitive to do that. You can try composting something like this, but you end up with a plastic sleeve left behind. This cup, because it's polypropylene, it's soft, you notice the plastic doesn't crackle. Most other McDonald's cup lids that are gonna be on the kind of cup I just tossed are gonna have a crinkly sound to them. That's because they're polystyrene number six. Check with your recycler and see what they take. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recycle all three of these things together. Straws are likely polypropylene and can be recycled as long as they're put inside of something else. So keeping them together as one unit, that I've rinsed, it's clean, can be easily grabbed out in the sorting process. Believe it or not, we only had one item from our McDonald's meal that we could not recycle or compost. That's pretty good. Now, if we had condiment packets, they would need to go in the trash. If I had accepted the other lid, then that would have to go in the trash because my recycler does not take number six. And that's another component of being a good steward of resources is that sometimes you can say no to packaging. Well, there you have it. There's a lot of stuff you can recycle at your local McDonald's, but that requires just a little extra effort on your part. But I think you're up for it. Recycling like you mean it. That's just another easy way to be green. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. Join the community by subscribing to our YouTube channel and help spread the green by liking our videos and sharing with your friends. Greenshorts.com, that's shorts with a Z.